Hey Rumbrook World Entertainment and we got some more Deadpool and Wolverine news. Mainly, who put Hugh Jackman in the yellow suit? The director hinting at you might have to see it multiple times. We also get this brand new TV spot which we will take a look at. And we get the official runtime. So if you're wondering how long exactly you'll be getting cameos and stuff. Like how long the screen time would be. We could kind of gauge that by the runtime. Now, let's start with the whole story of the director saying you might need to see it multiple times. That sounds to me a tiny bit like a bit of desperation. It's like, ooh, they've lowered the estimate from 200 plus million opening down to 160 to 165 million opening. If we come in under that, we're probably in trouble. We need to get people to see this. And he, the way he says it is, he's kind of saying it was Ryan Reynolds who said, oh good, we'll have to get people to see it multiple times. And it's because he's saying, you're going to laugh so hard, you're going to miss dialogue. So you'll have to go back to see it again to hear the dialogue. That's, you know, they always say that type of stuff. So, it, you know, don't read too much into that to say like, oh my God, they're in absolute panic stations. No, but th that is kind of saying... We've made it so funny that you're going to have to see it multiple times because you're going to miss dialogue. Okay, that is whatever it is. Then we get to the Who uh, put Hugh Jackman in the yellow suit. Now, this is who they say it is. Do I believe it? I don't really believe it. Um, I think they're just trying to give credit to say, ooh, look how well they did with this. But they're saying Kevin Feige is the one who demanded that Hugh Jackman is put in the yellow suit. Do we believe that? I, I honestly don't believe that. <laughs> See, you know what I mean? I think they probably all were saying, let's do the yellow suit and five years right? Like, oh yeah, okay. And they just gave him credit for whatever reason. It, and that went hand in hand with Ryan Reynolds saying, basically, there's only one Wolverine and that's Hugh Jackman. And then the question, of course, that was raised by that is, well... Is Hugh Jackman going to continue to play Wolverine? I, d I doubt it. I really doubt it. Um, he might do one more outing. Who knows? To pass the torch or something. Don't know. But he is, he is getting long in the tooth. No pun intended. Uh, with playing this character. Uh, even though, yes, he is the essential Wolverine. And it's going to be very hard for all of us to accept anyone else as Wolverine. But... You know, how long can he do it, realistically? And we know what he puts his body through to get into that shape to be Wolverine. So, I don't know. There's also been a ton, apparently, of uh, leaked footage that's come out online. And a few images after screenings at fan events. Now, the screenings, I don't think, were the full movie. I think they played, like, 30 minutes of the movie. So, that's a huge chunk of this movie. Especially when we get to the the uh, runtime and stuff, but the, it we're not going to show any of it. I'm I'm not going to discuss what they are. I'm not going to spoil it. But it does say kind of. But is this a bit of desperation? Because we know that Disney are so quick to lock down that type of stuff, and they haven't been for the last few years. You know, you look at when. Infinity War and Endgame were coming out. You didn't know anything. They were even changing things in the trailer. Which apparently this has done as well. Um, but uh, how are they letting that come out? It's very strange. But that kind of goes hand in hand with footage. New footage to basically this new TV spot. Now don't get me wrong. It's funny. But I don't find it laugh out loud funny. I don't find it hysterical or anything. It, it is funny. But it's not... <laughs> It's, there's something weird about it. But we'll have a look at this new TV spot, which is meant to be something with the Bachelorette. Yeah, here's this new spot. Have a look at this. I can't do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, you can. Now, what the hell am I even doing? You're explaining to Bachelor Nation why our movie is the perfect date movie while holding this. Oh, I love the smell of sunflowers. I'm not doing either of those. Yes, you are, because you are a confident, powerful person. And 18 to 49-year-old women are super important demo for us. No cap. What? No cap. What does that mean? It's what all of my fellow Gen Zers say. Slay, FR, trauma. 
Genergy, four hour work week, quiet quitting. Look, the point Jeez, is. I'm out of here. All right, stay off camera. I'll handle this. <sighs> hey, Nation, Deadpool here again to tell you that our movie has everything you love. We really zoom into complex relationship dynamics. Uh, there's ample amounts of cheeky humor. And in the end, well, I I'm not going to lie, it was quite a payday for us. You promised me the Bachelorette was coming. <laughs> I made a lot of promises, buddy. And I'll tell you, you are delivering. Come again. So you see it there. This is this new spot. It's funny, yeah, but it's not this hysterical funny. It's not this super laugh out loud or anything. Um, it, it, that says to me that that was, here's the script, stick to the script, which is uh, a bit weird. Um, you know, it doesn't seem to be much improv in it, which is weird. So what is the runtime and when does the embargoes lift for the movie? Well, say no more because we have the official uh news on that so the social media reactions will be allowed to drop on july 22nd at 7 p.m pt and 10 p.m eastern time with full reviews are embargoed until the 23rd so they're releasing them three days before the movie comes out that's not like, it doesn't sound great when they're like, oh, why is it so close to the release? But of course, they don't want all the spoilers out there. So that's why that would be there like that. So if you're hearing people saying, oh, that's a bad sign. if it's, It really isn't. Not for a movie like this. That's fine. So what's the runtime? Well, this one is going to be shorter than Deadpool 2. Yeah. So... It says while the Merc with a Mouth MCU debut will clock in at 2 hours, 7 minutes and 45 seconds with credits. Uh, and it says possibly including the rumoured post credit scene. It's only 1 hour and 59 minutes without. So the movie without credits is in basically just hitting 2 hours. Uh, and it says that makes it just shorter than Deadpool 2. So total runtime. 2 hours, 7 minutes, 45 seconds. The 7 minutes and 45 seconds is basically the credits. 7 minutes of credits. Good Christ. Otherwise, the actual movie that you're watching is an hour and 59 minutes. So, it's a long enough movie, but it's not super long. Um, clocking in just under the 2 hour mark, and literally just by a second. Um, so, that gives you an idea of how much you can gauge... Just how long cameos will be. Clearly you're not going to be spending a hell of a lot of time with the cameos. It's probably literally going to be in and out. Think Deadpool 2 with X-Force. With who they got in there for the cameos. You know your Terry Crews. Your Bill Skarsgård. Um, all that. And they were literally in and out. That's probably going to be the exact same with this. We'll have to wait and see. Only a couple of weeks left anyway for this to come out, so we'll find out then. So, with that, I shall leave it there for this one. So cheers, and I'll catch you in the next one.